to Terra, and we again go back to La Belle Provence in Montreal to one of our regulars and our friend of ours, Lloyd Barker. Lloyd, welcome to Red Card again, my friend. Uh, always a pleasure to be here, and always a pleasure. Hopefully you can hear me well. I'm in the car on a speakerphone. Hopefully everything's going through properly. We can hear you absolutely A-OK. -okay. Let's get right to it once again. Joey Saputo puts his money where his mouth it, uh, is and puts Montreal on the map worldwide by signing Didier Drogba. The scenes yesterday were unreal as they were when Jovinko arrived. This puts a statement in MLS that both Canadian cities want to win and don't mind spending. Talk about it, Lloyd. Well, Joey always said, uh, you know, when the right player comes around for the right reasons at the right price, he'll definitely spend. And I think this adds up perfectly. I mean, it's exactly what Joey had implied, exactly what Joey wanted. And I think, you know, we're going to talk about how what he'll bring to the table as far as performance and all of that. But I got to tell you, the number one thing that sticks out for me is that a player of immense magnitude, I mean, worldwide status, has chosen to come here and chosen over other choices. I mean, he's not stuck for choices. We're talking about Didier Drogba here. You know, he wasn't uh, short of, of options, um, including going to Chicago in Major League Soccer, and he turned down Chicago, which... It's not a bad city in itself. Uh, you know, I told someone the other day, look, if, if Michael Jordan could survive there, it can't be that bad a city. <laughs> <laughs> Lloyd, this has got to really pump up the city of Montreal, La Belle Provence of Quebec, seeing that a world-class player is coming here to play for the Montreal Impact. Kids must be excited. Coaches must be excited to watch him play. I mean, this has got to really put a boost into this city and into this province. So, you know what, Anthony, when you see the 60,000 at the Olympic Stadium during the CONCACAF Champions League game, you just get the feeling that people here just want to support the team. They deep down, you know, every bone of their body, they want to support the team. But I told you this before, you know, people, when they're spending their money, they want to make sure as well that you're trying to do the right thing, you're trying to build a winning team, you're, 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 you're doing things the proper way, and you'll get their, their really, their, their undivided uh, support and, and uh, I think that's what we're seeing now here. And it, this is a legitimate, legitimate superstar in, the, in all the, in the world's game. Uh, Didier Drogba's name crosses oceans and seas. I mean, we're talking about a guy who stopped the civil war in his own country. He's a UN ambassador. This guy is well known more than any other player that's ever come through these, this this uh, part of the town in any sport for Montreal. And so the magnitude, I think, is really kind of just catching on. You know, when there was whispers he might come and all of that, I don't think people really understood that. Maybe the diehards will have looked into it and say, you know, wow, this would be great for the city. But now you've got the non-followers, you've got the avid followers, but you've got the non-followers, just regular sport fans, just regular everyday people in Montreal that are saying, wow, I think they've done something really big here. They saw the scenes at the airport and all of that. So, you know, you put it all together, Anthony, and, and it's really a, it, it's a great time for, for Montreal sports. Because, uh, they, let's face it, they've got one of the best that's ever played the game. Yeah, Lloyd, you know what? We'll keep you just a couple more minutes because we know you're on your way to the press conference. But watching the photographs of uh, Joey Saputo and Didier Drogba signing uh, the contract, to me, he looks like in tip-top shape. Watching him with, with Chelsea, he has the blazing speed still. You and I both know MLS is built mostly on speed, on aggression, and, and uh, our goal scorer is really succeeding this year as we've seen as of late. And if all those things, uh, you know, are, are all one, package Didier Drogba to me is going to make a big splash in MLS your thoughts well let's not forget that we're talking about uh, a player yes he's 37 years old and his best days are behind him there's absolutely no question about that but he's still got plenty in the tank he's a guy one of those players that, that have always taken care of himself you speak to Jose Marino which I did recently when they were here uh, for a few weeks I spoke to him multiple times and you know the word that comes out of his mouth about Didier Drogba you don't need to, to form your own opinion because we all know um, how, how strong and, and intelligent uh, Mourinho are in, in his thoughts and, and in his perception of people, and he, he's got it spot on. Uh, it, he's 37 years old, but he's got plenty to offer. Still, he does. It's a physical league, but that's what he presents. It, it's a league that, uh, you know, it's up and down, as we know. Sometimes it could be, it could be called erratic, but Didier Drogba still has that, and that's just about tactical intelligence, which he still has very much, uh, um, you know, you know, on, on top of his mind, let's call it that, because he's as sharp as attack, just as 
as he was before. I wouldn't worry too much about his age. I wouldn't worry too much about what type of shape he's going to be in. Um, and I wouldn't worry about the fact that he may be coming here to retire. Because, look, you know, in every league people retire. So, I, you know, this whole retirement league thing, that's a different argument for another day. But these guys have pride. They come here to play. He's a winner. He's won things. And I suspect he'll try to be doing the same thing in these next 18 months in Montreal. Last question to you is this, Lloyd. We look at the Eastern Conference. We see that D.C. United is really taking off a rest of the pack. But then we see that New York, Toronto, and Montreal have made big, big moves. New York as well this week making a move. And I think it is wide open. I think for me, this Eastern Conference this year is wide open. And it could be a real wild dance in the playoffs. Your thoughts? Well, it's what we want to see, isn't it? I mean, we want to see it wide open. We want we want every game that we watch to to be uh, uh, unpredictable, uh, certainly in terms of outcome. But I think you know the players that you mentioned, or sort of the teams rather, and the players that they've they've all added respectively, uh, they've added difference makers, and and, I, and that's what I think Didier Drogba brings, and that's what Jovinko brings, and the likes David Villa in New York, etc. It's difference makers. It's not just about depth. And we've, always, we've often seen that in Major League Soccer. Players get signed and you wonder, okay, well, what is he going to add? Well, there is absolutely no question that these, these new players that are coming in the league, Gio Santo, uh, Giovanni Dos Santos, for example, and of course now uh, Didier Drogba, these guys will make a difference in every department. They'll make a difference for their respective teams. They'll make a difference when they, they go away on the road and play teams. They'll help in attendance. These are difference makers on and off the pitch. And, uh, it, you know, it's a beautiful thing when it's wide open, man. That's what I want to see. It doesn't matter who you support. You hope your team wins, but you want to know when you go to the game that your team has a chance to win on any given day against anybody, for that matter. Absolutely. Lloyd, enjoy the press conference. And when we get you on next time, I want to talk to you about the Reggae Boys and what a great Gold Cup they had. And I was really impressed with that young goalkeeper. Saw him here in Toronto when TFC2 took on the Pittsburgh Riverhounds. And I tell you, Jamaica is going to be a threat in this CONCACAF uh, for a very long time, especially the way a lot of their youngsters are coming along. Lloyd, thank you again. Safe travels and enjoy the press conference. Cheers, buddy. Anytime. We'll talk again soon, buddy. Take care. That is a class act. That is Lloyd Barker. He is one of our regulars. Really enjoy having Lloyd on. He's in his car making his way to the press conference, so we don't want to keep him because it's a 6 o'clock press conference start. We had on Olivier Tremblay in there, Lloyd Barker. It is absolutely electric in La Belle Provence in the city of Montreal with Didier Drogba. And this is...